Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about sequence in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, what the sequence? A sequence is used to generate number sequence. So, number sequence like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or that continue, whatever you give the maximum value, and your sequence can be start with 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, so like that, continue, and here it create a unique number to act as a primary key. So it create a unique number. So here this is the syntax of sequence. So create sequence here schema and here you have to keep the sequence name. So as data type, so data type can be integer, big int and here test map. And here the start value. So this is the first value returned by sequence object. So this will start from whatever the value you can we are giving at here. So one, two, whatever. So increment by so if you like to know or if you like to increase by one so you can do two three five seven eight here so at a minimum value you can give so here you can this is optional no minimum value here maximum value no maximum value. so mean and max value that is the range here so this is cycle cycle means repeating order so when that to reach on or maximum value so that continue from the beginning so add here uh, it will start when max value change and here uh, no cache and cache on uh, giving no cache so when that reach out max or mean value so add here there, uh, then if you don't give any cache so this will generate the error so about the cache it cast the sequence number to minimize disk io so add here to create the sequence so right here we have to use create sequence and here create sequence sequence is the name and here as integer so if you like to uh, give out an integer and here big int decimal you can also give so right here start with one and here in came with one and here minimum value this is the maximum value and here no cycle and here i've given the cast or day so let's create the new sequence so see right here sequence it's a created now here after creating new a uh, sequence value so add here to creating new sequence value so we have to use this query select next value for sec so this is the sequence name so see add here the value is 1 and here after uh, whenever you execute this query so value that gonna change so 1 2 3 4 5 so if you like to know about the current sequence so you can uh, use this query or uh, select current value from this and your sequence so sequence and your where name is sequence so if you execute this query so the uh, this will dis uh, display current value is the 5 now here after let's execute here this query again now again if we're going to execute here so this will or display current value of the sequence so currently it's a 8 now here after if you like to know more detail about the sequence so you have to write select a start from sister sequence where name is six one so see right here it's a name is sequence this is the id here a schema id and your type so or type dsc sequence object this is the creating modifying date and here a start increase minimum value maximum value and here there is no any cycle i've given and here cas 10 system type so it's all detail here now here after the uh here the next sequence value is the 9 so and here this is the current sequence 9 here so if you like to reset here reset the values so you have to execute this query alter sequence sequence restart with one so if you execute the other command successful now here if you like to check current sequence value so it's a one so it's a reset now if you like to increase so here you can do that so if you want to check sequence current value of sequence so execute this query so this is the current sequence now here after you can create the sequence with cycle cycle format so add here previously 
uh, I increased by 1. Now this time I it's increased by 2. And here this is the mino value and here this is the max value. And here this is a cycle and here given the cash 10. So let's execute this gradient. So and here it's already so let's give and here new name like sec3 and execute this again so command completed successfully now here after let's execute here first sec3 now here after let's execute so this is a start with one here if you execute this query so this will increase by two so this is now three here after three plus two five here seven a nine here after when that maximum value is at here set nine so when that reach at here nine so again uh, at here i enable the cycle property so that here again that start with one so see at here it's a one so this is enabling cycle format so one two three four nine here so this is the things here if you are like to use cycle format so it will continue like a loop so right here it's a loop formation now here after i'm going to create one table with the name emp so emp is the already exit so that's the direct this table so there, there are no any emp table inside there so let's create one table yeah, there are uh, three columns id name city so it's the uh, id so command completed successfully now here after so insert into employee values so next value for sequence so sequence value is this is the sequence here yeah. so this is the sequence I start with one in game by one this will this minimum value one here yeah. This will reach this value 9 5 times and here this is the cast. Now here after if you like let's just check first the current value. So current value is at here 3. Now here if you are going to execute so first uh, the table is created let's refresh that the name with uh, emp it's created. Now here if you insert this value insert into emp values next value for sequence. So see at here one row inserted. Now here let's check the record. So at here it's a, a displaying four because uh, when I executed this current value, so it was uh, three. Current value was three. So at here that's increased by one so that it's a uh, displaying IDs for Jason Manchester. Now here after let's uh, change the name Jason here Manchester one. Now, if you execute the same query, so see at here, the new ID is now 5. So let's here check that. So new ID, it's a generated 5. So this is the benefit of a sequence. So you know, if you generate here sequence, so no, no need to pass ID values here. And here after to, to or delete some sequence. So first I'm going to show you about where the sequence is created. So you have to go to the program ability here after or uh, go to program. Uh -huh. There is the folder is folder is there sequence name and here this is the sequence. Now here after let's refresh that. So it's uh, I created three sequence and here this is uh, a system generated sequence. So I'm going to drop sequence. So add here you write or drop sequence and here give sec tail. Now here let's execute this query. So command completed successfully. Refresh that here sec tail dropped. So this is the way we can create the sequence. So anything in Microsoft SQL Server we can do by two ways. One is the by query and next is graphically. So let's create two sequence graphically. So right click here after new sequence and here after this is the console. So here you have to specify the name. So I'm going to give add here some small name, sig4 and here 
or sequence schema so if you like to browse here you can do that so let's give add a escort now click ok so for sequence you have only this data available or tiny int small int int big int as well so let's give add a integer here after or this is the uh, start value so here i'm going to give a start value for increment increase by 5 and here so this is the uh, start value here going to give 1 here maximum going to give 100 and here cycle so if you like to or uh, cycle value you can also enable this property now hereafter let's give cast so if you so if you are going to use the cycle, so you should use at your cast. But if you are not going to use at your cycle, so when that font, oh, so if you don't give at your or oh, cycle, or oh, if you don't give at your cast, so let's or uh, use no cast. So when that font at your maximum value, after maximum value, that will generate the give the error. So that you have to use the or uh, cast size. So you whatever you value you like you can give add here this cast value so you can increase by up decrease by down so add here let's execute so see add here refresh the so one escort dot seek for it's generated now here after let's uh, check the next value so add here escort dot uh, here six four so this is the sequence name so add here it's the one here it start with one here six here it's increased by five so when that for reach on add here hundred so let's see so see at here I'm getting the error message. Sequence object six words has list minimum and maximum value. The start sequence allowed new here. Yeah. So let's go to the properties and here see. So I did not enable a uh, cycle properties. So that here it's uh, displaying the error. So when at here let's enable cycle property, then you can restart with one to five like this. So this is the current value it's all displaying here now let's click on ok and or refresh that one now here after execute this query so see at a one so this is 96 here after it's now or does come with one so this is the property of cycle in sequence here now here after oh let's go to the policies oh sorry here after so let's so go to the script second here create and here new query editor window so this will give you all the details so create sequence here as integer uh, here start increments mean max cycle cast 24 so this is all detail here and if you like to or drop the sequence so you have to click on delete and you have to click on ok so sequence deleted so this is the all important point about the sequence in microsoft sql server management studio so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you